Welcome to Support This TV. I am AKA Bands. And damn it, boy, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you can always know when I'm dropping these vids. Now let's get it. Let's say Rallo. I'm Rallo. I deserve to have what belongs to me. You know what I did? I tore all my shit up, man. We gotta get an admission test. First, when they stopped me, they said that my tat was expired. They stopped me on my birthday. I actually went to jail on my birthday due to the fact the tag expired on your birthday. My well, my license was valid. It was never suspended. So everything they said about me wasn't true. They told me to call, told all my shit out of my car. On As you seen in the video, Rallo got the lamb back. You know what I'm saying? He posted this video up. You know what I'm saying? I'm here recording him going to pick it up, which was cool. It's good that he documented it, him picking it up, him documenting them fucking his car up, him getting it checked out. You know, him showing proper paperwork that he do own a car. Him showing paperwork that his license was valid. Him basically showing that they harassed him. And like I said before, anytime the police pull you over, if you don't have proof of anything, it's a great area where they will harass you because they will say, well, you don't have proof that this is you. You won't have proof that this car is yours. So somewhere in the great area, they decide to harass Rollo, which was not fair. But... Rollo had this to say, right? He put a big long post up, and this is what he had to say. He says, They hate to see you shine. They love to see you lose. The crazy part is, it was a black police officer that did the harassing. I asked him, Why was he doing this to me? He stated he was just doing his job. He took me to jail. He took my car. He took my money, and he gave me every ticket he could think of and put a drug hold on my property. No drugs were even found. They vandalized my entire car looking for drugs. I spent thousands of dollars getting out of jail. Now I got to spend thousands of dollars to get my car fixed. And I ain't did shit. I was on my way to my brother, YFN Lucci birthday party. We shot the same birthday. I was in a cold ass jail cell on celebrity lockdown. The correctional officers made me wait till the next shift just to book me in. The captain told me to sit down like I was a dog after he asked me to stand up. I asked the officer, why did he make a turn to come after me? Because he was on the opposite side of the road. They stated because they seen a nice car. The intro and the outro on my album, Diary of the Streets 3, spoke deeply about this matter. I will forever scream out shit, pot shit, 12 can't stop shit. So I'm old and gray. But he seen a nice ass car, so he got behind it. Put a drug hold on his car, that's why they tore it up like that. That's crazy, man. But let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I am AKA Bands and support this TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.